All right, guys, uh, this rule in part C of the rules of the road is the first of those rules that describe the navigation light uh, displayed by each vessel. Now, rule 23 covers power driven vessels and gives the basic area of navigation lights, masthead lights, side lights and stern light from which the arrays for other vessel types are derived. Uh, as you progress in the rule, you will note that difference significant differences exist between uh, international rules and if you read any of the coastal rules for navigation. Uh, rule 23 applies to ordinary power driven vessels of all sizes from the recreational boat to the super tanker. It also applies to power driven ves fishing vessels when they are not engaged in fishing. It applies to tugboats assisting in ship maneuvering, either not connected to the ship or connected with a short line or cable. However, it does not apply to power driven vessels that are anchored at ground or tied to a dock. Paragraph A lists the navigation lights for ordinary power driven vessels. Two master lights are required, one forward and one aft, except that small vessels only need one master light forward of the vessel. The forward master light is placed in the forward half of the vessel, except uh, that maybe sometimes under coastal rules, this light does not have to be forward of midships on smaller vessels. Now side lights and stern light are also required and details on the orientation and positioning of these navigation lights are in rule 21 and in annex 1 of the rules of the road. Alternative uh, navigation light configurations for vessels less than 12 meters in length, uh, you will see that in paragraph C uh, of this rule of course. Paragraph B of this rule uh, focuses on air cushion vessels and air cushion vessels are given a distinctive yellow flashing light. The flashing which is about 120 regular flashes per minute. Uh, the flashing all round light is displayed only when the vessel is operating on its uh, cushion of air. So air cushion vessels may operate at high speeds, may tend to travel a little sideways in crosswind and they may not be able to turn quickly depending on the design of the vessel. If you go into the US waters, the US Navy actually permits the use of flashing yellow light on submarines, but the flash characteristic is not the same. Uh, part C of the rule. Uh, here, some owners, operators, or builders of power driven vessels under 12 meters in length feel that the conventional masthead light, side lights, and stern light array is too complicated. It consumes too much power or it just costs too much for vessel operation. So for them, uh, paragraph C uh, provides one or two alternatives. So basically vessels uh, which are less than 12 meters in length may display an all round white light and side lights. And the all round uh, white light, um, I think I'm a bit out of sync here. So this is the rule I was talking about. So the all round white light is commonly mounted um, at the stern on the starboard side but that location is carry a carryover from the superseded navigation lights. Under the current rules, the all round white light can be placed anywhere, so long as it is on a level one meter height higher than the side lights. Uh, putting the all round light above the operator lessens interference with his or her night vision. In addition, uh, carrying the all round lights in the forward part of the boat closer to the side lights, it actually minimizes the decrease in vertical separation. Uh, when the boat assumes a sort of a high uh, trim. Then we go to part two. Uh, under the international rules, a power neuron vessel less than seven meters in length may dispense with the side lights, displaying only an all round white light, providing that its maximum speed does not exceed seven knots. This means that its maximum speed during the time it is operating at night does not exceed seven knots. Uh, some people interpret uh, the maximum speed does not exceed 7 knots to mean maximum speed cannot uh, exceed 7 knots or which is not capable of more than 7 knots. But this is not what the rule is saying. The rule is saying uh, does not means in the present tense. So if a single white light is safe for a 5 knot board going 5 knots, then it should also be safe for a 25 knot board going at 5 knots. Uh, finally, in part 3, um, the rule uh, allows for the off center line positioning of masthead light or substitute an all round white light. 
so the in the international rule here in rule 23 c part 3 is more restrictive uh, than any of the coastal rules that you will read